So just kind of, you know, offensively, how's it gone? Just overall view of uh, where, where the offense is at right now. We're progressing in the right direction. I mean, I wish I could say that it was perfect, but, you know, as coaches, we strive for perfection. So, you know, you try every little bit to make it as perfect as you can and put them through every situation they can be in. We try to speed up practice. We try to put them in some pressure situations so it'll be easy for them in the game. What's your takeaways from the scrimmage on Saturday? What do you guys need to get do better for the next one? You know, one of the things you can't do is beat yourself. That's the first way you win. You know, and you know you can't turn the ball over. You can't do things like that. You can't jump off sides. You can't have bad snaps. And that's where it starts. Is the next scrimmage this coming Saturday? I think we're going to go Thursday. That's in mm -hmm. two days from now. Mm -hmm. Okay. Correct. Yes. Interesting. Right. Mm -hmm. As far as uh, I know, the tight end position, you guys have not had some good luck with injuries. What's uh, and you move Holman over there, what's kind of your analysis on the position? Well, it's coming point? along. I mean, you know, again, he's learning, you know, so he, he was a defensive player. Now we've moved him to offense. And, you know, we have some other guys that are there too, so we're kind of bringing them along. I mean, right. it's one of those situations where uh, some of them have to grow up pretty quick. Uh, offensively, how, how different are you right now than, say, during spring? You know, I mean, I know you've had a lot, a lot of new pieces. A lot of new and, faces. Yeah. A lot, you know, a lot of new faces have, have got eligible and have come in, and that's been very helpful for us. I mean, you know, uh, coaching is one thing, but uh, making plays is another, as you well know. And, you know, we've got some guys that have made some plays for us. So, you know, that showed up. That showed up on film. When you get Logan Scott healthy and cleared again, what, what's he going to add to the – Oh, he'll be right in the middle of it. You know, he's going through all the individual drills. Uh, we feel like he'll be ready to go. Uh, just had to clean up some stuff from him from the J.C. injury and be ready to go. And Ronnie, I know Ronnie Turner's a guy that also had to get healthy again. How much better is your offense with him playing there's, on that 100%? There's no doubt. Those two guys obviously bring, bring some stuff to the table, and we're happy to have them out there, you know. I mean – they're kind of going through everything, but the you know Ronnie actually is going through everything, you know. Yeah. But uh, you know we'll we'll see how it goes when we strap it up here in a couple of weeks. What does Ronnie do well for you guys? You know he's a big-bodied guy. I mean he really is. He runs smooth routes and, and he's big-bodied. You know in this league, what you find out is the corners are, are really fast, right? Mm -hmm. Correct. Right. Well, if you can't outrun them, you have to outsize them. And I think those are two things you're finding out in our league, NFL, and everything is those big outside receivers that can run, but if they the taller you are, the slower you can be. <laughs> the faster you are and the littler you are, you move inside. So you can work against the linebackers. And they match up well with the corners. They really do. It seems like the, your numbers at running back, your numbers at receiver, seems like a lot of guys are kind of in the mix there. How much during this camp have you been trying to figure out who's where and how much this guy's playing and how much that guy's playing? How, how much is that? Well, we, we get a lot of reps. So when you get a lot of reps, you get a chance to see a lot of people. And I think that's our advantage, you know, because when you get a lot of reps, a lot of folks are on film. It's hard to fi hard to hide when you're on film. Mm -hmm. Spencer Brown's a you know a true mm -hmm. freshman that came in. Obviously, it's the first time you've seen him on the field. You know, in, in college, you've seen him on mm -hmm. the field. Kind of what's been your impression of him during this camp? I tell you, he's a talented back. He really is. He's every bit of two thirty and you know runs with great leverage. Uh, I think the the part that, that that's kind of got him is he every day, every time, take the ball, block, run. You know, most of the backs in high school are really good when they have the ball in their hand. When they don't have the ball in their hand, you know, they're kind of getting a rest. <laughs> so, you know, he's learning that he can't rest very often around here. How do you feel like A.J. and Tyler have done? It's done well. They really have. It's been a blessing to have them. Uh, both of them, you know, have been here uh, since we assembled, and I think that's been the benefit for us, you know, I mean, because we get to work with them every day, get them on the field, and, and uh, you know, they get better every, every day. I mean, today they got better. For, for you as an as offensive coordinator, coordinator, during a camp, how much, obviously you don't change your philosophy, but how much do you change, you know, maybe tweak to tweak what you thought you might want to, to, to what you see on field, on the field type of thing? Well, you, you know, you obviously you learn more about your players, you know, and I've, I've said this to our kids, you're either a playmaker or a pretender, which one are you? If you're a playmaker, we'll get you the ball. If you're a pretender, you're probably not going to get on the field. So those are two things that you look at in players, and you're honest with them. You tell them, I mean, every day we get up after practice and we talk what we did good and what we did bad. And I think that's important to kids nowadays. You know, so often they don't hear the truth. <laughs> you know, you go home and, uh, you know, with the way society is today, you got to be kind of careful sometimes when you walk into a, a place where people, you know, all they want is to hear great things. You know, these kids here want to hear the truth. They're, they're tired of people telling them, you know, this happened. This, just tell me the truth, Coach. What do I got to get better at? And that's what we do. 
feel like you have more playmakers than pretenders at this point? Well, we're finding out, first of all. You know what I'm saying? But I, I do think we do. I, I think I'm very pleased with, with what we have. But, uh, again, I won't know until we get on the field. You know, scrimmage, there were some guys that stepped up for us and did some good things. But, again, that's one scrimmage. You know, I mean, uh, you got to do it every day. I mean, it's a tough job. You can't just show up for about 30 minutes. You better be there for the whole game. Yeah, I'll see. You can't do anything offensively if you're not good up front. I no mean, doubt. I mean, kind of what's been your thoughts I, I, of those guys during I, the camp? I think that's probably been our most improved position up front. We've really improved up front. Trey's done a great job. Uh, you know, he's molded a bunch of young men together and put them together and pieced them together so that we, we were pretty decent up there. I mean, they've done a really, really nice job. They've kept the quarterback clean in passing situations, and they've come off the ball in run situations.